The house rules in trading card games like Magic the Gathering just nerf or errata cards in decks rather than outright banning them. And yeah, I don't see a problem with that. As long as your house rules are clear, house rule whatever you like. It's, it's just they need to be clear. In fact, here's a really obscure house rule that I played with for a while when we played in Cube Draft. This little guy, Mog Fanatic, when damage used the stack, he was awesome. When it didn't, he kind of sucked. And most of the people in my playgroup agreed that the old Mog Fanatic was better than the new Mog Fanatic. So, like, for a while, we just played him in the old way. Until we eventually stopped being fucking boomers and were like, okay, okay, let's play rules as written. But yeah, like, if you just want to make your own house errata, I have no problem with that. In fact, I would much prefer that to a rule zero discussion, because I would like to see the majority of strategies in Magic the Gathering allowed at any table. I think if you say stuff like no stacks or no control or no stasis, you're just, you're just hating on a type of player, and that kind of sucks for that player, you know?